A very simple but powerful thing that you can do with Glide is just simply to let people edit your data through the interface. Now, the best way to do this is just to add a collection and by default, the actions on that collection will be to add and edit that data. You can turn these off, add conditions for it, but the problem with this is that it only allows people to add and edit data in that table, in that collection. But very often you wanna create scenarios in your projects where you allow users to send data or update data in other tables. And this is where forms become really useful. The easiest way to create a form is just to add the form container. If we select the container, we can change the destination table. And when we do, the entry components update to reflect the columns in that table. We can then customize and remove these though, if we want to change what data our users can submit. We can also pass in values for columns that aren't in the form, like the current time, user email, or even values from the screen that the form is within. When a user submits a form, a new row will be added to that table and appear wherever that table is used in our project.